What's good world, ADMT.TV. Today, giving you a new episode of Hip Days. Let's go. Well, today we're here with a new guest on a new episode of Hip Days, Jenny Cole. How's everything with you? Everything is good. All right, so give the people out there a little information on what is it that you do and what is your skill set and what are you specializing? So I am an, a licensed esthetician and I'm a New York City makeup artist. I do a variety of cosmetology work, almost like um, special effects, glam, anything you need that requires appearance enhancement. I also do facials, waxing. Okay, so what got you started in the whole wanting to experiment with getting into cosmetology and the whole makeup scene? What piqued your interest behind it? It really started from young. I'm probably sure my mom has said stories plenty of times of me taking her makeup okay. and trying it on. And just the idea of feeling pretty, just enhancing your appearance in general, it doesn't matter where it is, and contouring, whether you want your lashes longer, your eyebrows more fuller, you know, you can do it. And it's just with makeup. So. Okay, so now, in most cases, I'm sure you had to go to school and get some training. Tell us a little bit about that. So I went to school. I went to Alveda Institute New York. They do have their own cosmetic line, um, okay. skincare and all that. Um, so I did a four month course and I graduated, got my license. So how did you feel about the course? Was it difficult? Is it something? Because for the people on Hip Dads, we love to encourage them. We love to inspire the youth and give them information. How was it for you? And how was it as far as going up looking at it? Was it a lot of research that had to be put into it? It was a lot of research. Finding like the best school for you, because not every school would provides the right materials, setting you up for success for the board, um, state okay. board exam. So it's all about just, I guess, reaching out, doing your re um, re researching some reviews on the schools and stuff like that. It was a hard four months. Okay. Got through it. And yeah. Okay. I'm here. All right. Nice yeah. Week. So, you know, like everything, you know, we got to put the work in and, you know, step by step and we take the process and we make it happen. What are some of the things that you're doing out there uh, as far as the makeup and cosmetology? So I like to let the client, my client feel comfortable. So getting them to feel trustworthy for me to touch them because, you know, I am doing everything with my hands. Okay. So a lot of people are iffy with letting people touch them at all, mm. especially when it comes to the face. People are sensitive. Some people don't like it rough or some people like it a very soft hand. So it's learning different people, different types of people, different types of skin. It's just interesting. So is it more of the makeup part or do you deal with facials? What goes into some of the things that you do? Uh, my specialty is definitely makeup, but the school that I went to did focus mostly on facials, but I became so like obsessed with bettering your skin, balancing your pH. It's so important, especially with your mental, like that can throw your pH off and now your skin is breaking out and you wow. know, it, it ties a lot to it, like mental and where you are mentally okay. in your state of mind. So did you learn a lot about like, what is the word I'm looking for? uh like the the the, the doctors that uh specialize in in faces and uh, faces and stuff like that right now it's slipping me folks uh you know again this is what's so authentic and organic about admt.tv's hip dad is that we love to talk have conversation and again sometimes i might not have all answers so for you viewers out there if you do please hit me up and let me know but again um for uh, something like that, how important is it for when you're dealing with the face to know, because you know, a lot of makeups and stuff like that, a lot of times certain things could break you out and things, how is that important for you? Definitely looking at the product's ingredients is okay. major. A lot of makeup brands test with animals and I don't really support that only because oh. it's made for humans, there's no reason why you're testing right. animals on it, but that's just a whole total different conversation but definitely researching the ingredients seeing what's best for you um, seeing what different acids are good for your skin whether mm. you have dry skin oily skin combination sensitive skin there's all different types um, okay different fix Fitzpatrick's and stuff like that so all that ties in you gotta look at an ingredient just testing new things to see what's good for you cause okay I can't say I have a sensitive skin so I break out easily but somebody else may not have that same 
mm. skin type as me. So. so what have you learned with some of the things that as far as like when it comes to the skin and making sure, uh, any tips or pointers for us as far as what we could do to help our skin keep it clean and moisturizing and things like that? What are some of the things that we could do to help us with ours? So definitely doing your own skin analysis. So making um, checking to see if your pores are um, opened. If they're open, then you want to close them because then if you keep them open, then that allows bacteria to come in and avoids pimples and blackheads and all mm. that. Getting, I would say monthly facials is important. Getting your face clean, keeping up with a healthy diet, using not organic products, but definitely natural products that are healthy for the skin, not mm. many chemicals. You don't want to use much um, exfoliators as well. Okay. So rip the skin. You don't want to do that. You just want to moisturize and clean the skin. You don't want to rip it apart. Mm. You know, Skin, your skin is the biggest organ, so you got to take care of it. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. We always do. And dermatologists, people, that was the word I was looking for. Oh. So uh, how important is that as far as do you have to, I know you're not a dermatologist, mm -hmm. but how important is that to know certain things about the skin? Yes. So derma, the word dermatology means um, like going in the dermis. Okay. So the dermis I do not deal with. I deal with the epidermis. So that's the, the layer above the dermis. So I don't go okay. deep. I don't go, if you touch the dermis, you bleed. So whenever I touch you, you Wow, never okay. Bleed. You <laughs> See, never you're bleed. getting a lesson here on hip dance. <laughs> yes. Okay. Um, when I touch you, you will never bleed. I will never cause harm mm. or intentional harm. And, uh, instead of you're doing waxing, that's different. Waxing is always going to be painful. But as far as like doing facials and makeup, I only deal with the epidermis. Mm. Um, it's the outermost layer of your skin. And it's the most important one. Um, okay. Because that is the, the protector. That's the one that you, it protects your, your inside. Okay. So if your epidermis is all messed up, then your dermis is probably going to be messed up and you can create a lot of diseases and it's mm. a lot that goes into it, you know what I'm saying? See, so, so I don't deal with the dermis, I deal with just the epidermis. Okay, so here on Hip Dash, you know, man, we're getting a lesson today, folks. Yeah, well, Again, you know, this is important information, especially about the face. Now, you said something about waxing. Tell us a little bit about that and how that comes into play on what it is that you do. Um, there's different types of waxes. There's honey wax, there's chocolate wax, there's hard wax, soft wax. Okay. There are different ways you can wax. There's hard wax where you don't need a strip. You don't need anything. Okay. You can just apply the wax and it good right with your hand. There's also ones that you use a strip for. But the difference is that the soft wax, the one that you use the strip for, it attaches to the hair and the skin. Mm. So it can okay. cause some damage to the skin if it's not used mm. properly. And then with the hard wax, um, it only attaches to the hair. So that's, it's more useful for hairs that are more coarse, more thick, um, okay. that you don't want to attach to the skin and then the hair and then you have to do it multiple times. It's just less painful with hard wax. That's the one that I prefer to use. What, 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 which wax is the less painful? <laughs> is oh, there it all, any? It depends on the skin. It all okay. depends on the skin. So definitely doing your research on the person. That's why it's important to do skin analysis. Mm. Um, before you even touch anybody, you got to see what type of skin they have. If they're sensitive, you got to look at their background, whether they have have had dermatitis in the past, whether they had any wow. kind of maybe eczema even can cause like I can't treat as I can't treat with someone with eczema as that I can inter I can irritate it and make it worse. So that's just something I don't want to get myself into. You have to, you know, it's a lot of background research that you have to do, and everybody's body isn't the same. Okay. So, what I use for you won't be the same for somebody else mm. um, with the same skin type as well. Okay. It all depends on the person, um, genetics. So as we understand, you know, a lot goes into the face and skin care and how you approach it and how you take care of yourself and things like that. So what is it that you do in your spare time? Um, well, I work a lot okay. of hours. Okay. Um, and that's about it. <laughs> Other than doing what I love, I spend time with my family. Okay. Um, spending time with my mom is important to me um, and getting that quality time that you don't normally get because I'm at work. Okay. So when I'm home, I try to be home and really be home and be there spiritually, emotionally. And, and what are some of your passions besides cosmetics and things like that? Do you have any other passions that you're passionate about? Other things that you like to get into and where you can see yourself uh, down the road? What is the what what is the future hold? Well, I don't know if it has something like I can do in the future with it, but I'm very passionate about like my spirit um, and feeling good vibes just mm. around me. I like to be around people that genuinely feel like I'm going to succeed and want to push me. So that's important to me. Um, just the, the nature and your people you surround yourself with. 
especially what you do right. also impacts you and how you think um, okay and that's why i like to bring myself up so I bring myself up i like candles feeling the moment listening to music i love music i can't function without music i don't know okay. if i can <laughs> and yeah all right, so again, you know, here on Hip Dads, we always try to encourage entrepreneurs, encourage the youth, and inspire people. And again, you know, so what advice could you give to some uh, facials or, or even like the chemical peels and stuff oh, like yes, that? That's again, funny. I'm not an expert on none of this. It's just certain things that I hear, so I love to talk about. So what is, advice can you give to someone that may be uh, looking to maybe have bad skin and maybe want to get into something like this? What would your advice be to them? Um, definitely go out there and and do what's best for you. I had very bad skin growing up and it did take me a while to build the confidence to go out there and want to better my skin because I just wanted to cover it. I always wanted to cover it and not better it. Not masking it, definitely going out there and looking out, looking for what's best for you um, and your skin because it is an important organ that you have to take care of. So just go out there, take those leaps, don't be scared. Be confident, definitely be confident. Do you see a lot of people, some people abusing makeup? Is, is that a such thing where people could abuse makeup because maybe you put too much on and you don't give your, your actual skin mm -hmm. enough uh, to breathe? How, so, how is that? There's there's different aspects to it. So if, you're, if your skin is more sensitive and it gets clogged more, then I wouldn't suggest putting too much makeup on. Okay. But I like to go for the full glam no matter what. Okay. I okay. like drag. I love all that drag makeup and going over and beyond. But there's also time to step back because you don't want to ruin your skin. Mm -hmm. Definitely taking back, stepping back and um, doing the proper cleanse, taking care of it. So like I said, um, going monthly for your facials, okay. getting a real deep cleanse and cleaning out your pores is big. Okay. Definitely. But I'm a go big or go home. Okay, I hear you, I hear you. So on social media, if people wanted to follow you and stuff like that, how could they find you? You can find me on Instagram, it's Janny.co, two J's, so that's J-J-A-N-I, period, C-O. And then you can find me on Facebook, and my name is Janny, J-A-N-I, last name Rios, R-I-O-S. Well, you know, Janny, we had a great time with you. Thank you for being so informative for us on Hip Dads because our job and our goal is always to inspire the youth and continue to promote entrepreneurs. So that's what's up again, ADMT.TV, giving you a new episode of Hip Dads. Stay tuned.